Bye. Welcome to the latest vlog. This is Life in Israel, Halloween edition. On this day before Halloween, some of the older kids from the youth group have set up a haunted house. Now Halloween is not typically a very Israeli holiday, but places like Kibbutzim that like host Ulpanim for Americans. Ulpan is like uh, Hebrew classes. So they have a lot of people that come through that are Americans. And so they've picked up some American customs like Halloween. So what are your expectations for this haunted house? For it to be haunted like, like it should for Halloween. Everybody saw it, like you saw it, Kevin Domingo saw it. Even I thought that we weren't going to do Halloween in Israel. I think it's gonna be fun. It might be a lot, it might be like America a little bit, but I know it's gonna be different. I was on the bus and my friend told me that we were doing Halloween. It was a few weeks ago. And then earlier today, we said we were going to a haunted house. Do you feel like it's Halloween season right now? Not really, it's more like, Spring. Do you need for it to be cold in order for it to feel like Halloween? Yeah, like the leaves starting to fall. Do you see that in Israel so much? No. Kids started to gather early for the haunted house. You think they'll be able to pull off an American style haunted house? Maybe. What do you need for them to do for it to be authentic? So for a haunted house, they are going to need like decorations like we have in America and like lights you know we have like a lot of lights in the trees it just has to be like the style of what we do like vampires and skeletons you think they can do it I think they can do it I think they can do good how was it Nico good and then you just take it, it was actually very easy it was not scary we're just leaving and saying bye bye <laughs> oh and there's some guy who held like a hand out and we kept giving him a high five you didn't Kevin you didn't like it did you like it? Oh, I liked it. It was really fun. And also, there are only snacks. There are snacks there too? Yeah. All right, they're having the haunted house is in the safe room. So we'll be safe in case of a, an alarm. All right, it's dark in here. Ooh. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Oh, they have snacks! <laughs> so let's see what they do when I stick my hand in. <laughs> that was it! And they have to go What do you think? It, it wasn't what I expected. You thought it would be like the whole room and more stuff, right? Yeah, I thought there would be like a doorway or something. It's not like America where there's like everything. I thought it was like just the beginning. Yeah, same. I thought it was like just the beginning and I thought that was like a holding area and we were about to go into it. I didn't realize that that was the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, you know, Halloween and Israel, listen, at least they tried, this is not their holiday. I know. Miko, you threw on my dress real quick. <laughs> what? And now I have this, and look. What is it? Gum? It's a, Candy? No, it's a gummy. Me and Miko, we're going together. We just went to houses, and people... Did just, the kids tell you that they were doing two days of Halloween? Like, that? They, like no, they knew. Like, people knew they were doing it before. Okay, so you just went like that? You didn't have to dress up? I, I didn't dress up. But people gave you stuff? Yeah. So, is it the same as, like, the stuff you get in America? Well, let's see. Two bags of potato chips. Next, we have some candies in a bag. These are literally like animal crackers. Next, we have Oreos. Not bad, I can put that on my lunch, maybe. We have <laughs> crackers. These people were not prepared, and guess what they gave us? What? 
More Petty Bear Crackers. <laughs> Next, we have candies. Straight candies in a bag. It looks like they were Maybe. just digging through their what they had. pantry, yeah. Kinder bar thingy. This is all the stuff that I got. Uh, Miko got more stuff. Somebody gave you a whole cake? I don't think it's cake, <laughs> I think it's like crackers. <laughs> Another mm -hmm. eyeball. Mentos, that's good. You got a whole thing. Another eyeball. This is so now we're funny. gonna share. This and some granola bars was all I had. I had to be better prepared the next day. Gumball eyes, anyone? Candy aisle. Getting Israeli candy for Halloween. This is usually the gourmet stuff I take home. Today I'm gonna buy it to give it out to the kids. Axel went to a friend's house to get ready for Halloween. His costume was makeup to make it look as if he had had a severe biking accident. So my youngest son is on the kibbutz at a Halloween birthday party, so I have to go and check on him. In the meanwhile, I left a bowl for the kids to take some candy. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. You know what was really scary on Halloween was watching my 11 year old drive away on a mini tractor with his 10 year old friend. I mean, I guess okay. at least he wore a bike helmet. Bye, Tenyo. Trick or treat time. The kibbutz was full of kids roaming around by age group. Miko found some friends and then I broke off because he was with another parent as well. Everybody left with their friends to go finish off the night of trick-or-treating. Let's take one quick check in the bucket. Okay, an empty bowl means I'm closing the gate. Happy Halloween, everybody. Okay.